cleaner in prison, seems to be very wimpy. But actually, he is a martial arts master. Every day, he gets beaten by a dozen of prisoners more than three times. But at the moment of being beaten, he can always avoid his vitals. In the days of being locked in a small dark room, he develops extraordinary visual and auditory abilities. He can hear the sound of spider crawling on the ground. He can see anyone's action in the dark. However, when he first came to prison, he offended the most powerful force in the prison. This prison is the most brutal one in South Korea. Everyone locked here is class A felon. There are three powerful groups in the prison. The first one is Cannibal Richard. It is the man eating leaves. It is said that Richard loves to eat human flesh the most. He ate more than 10 before he was sent to jail. No one dares to approach him in the prison. The second one, team of two gays. Two people's methods are despicable. They do whatever they can to take possession of young and handsome boys' ass. Cleaner was tricked by them. The third one is Baldy Brother Tom. Over 70% of prisoners in the jail are all his gang members. He says something in the prison. No one dares to say something different. His men wave hands at the guards and guards all need to avoid. When Monitor sees Brother Tom's people beat someone, guards all turn a blind eye. But this time, a special prisoner comes to the jail. His arrival will totally change everything. In prison, what kind of criminal would be beaten by the rest of prisoners? It is definitely rapist. John was framed that he raped and killed a teenage girl. Accordingly, he is sentenced to life imprisonment. The first day in prison, he is targeted by Brother Tom. John hides in the corner. He is directly grabbed and thrown in front of Brother Tom by Brother Tom's man Baldy Ray. Guards see something is about to happen, but Baldy Ray gives them a gesture. Then, they just walk away like good boys. John kneels on the ground. Brother Tom makes a gesture. You committed a crime, right? Rape. To a little girl. You son of a bitch. Baldy Ray directly kicks him. You did it, but do not want to admit. Brother Tom expresses. We. Even we kill someone. We would admit. But you. Stubbornly say you did not do it. John does not want to listen anymore. A buffalo charge. Directly knocks Brother Tom down. Isn't this suicide action? How dare you just hurt our boss? Crowd of gang members swarm start hitting John together. At this moment, Cannibal Richard in the distance is leisurely eating leaves. Guards see this clearly from surveillance footage, but they do not want to step into it due to laziness. At this moment, Brother Tom recovers, goes straight to John, and kicks him really hard for a while. Guards are afraid that someone may die, so they rush over finally, see blood on Brother Tom's nose, hit John with stick once. John passes out and gets locked in a small black room. John is locked in correctional cell for 80 days. 80 days passed. John comes out. These two people are a pair of gays. They actively comes to look for John, to persuade him into joining them. They want to form a gay group. And then, kill Brother Tom. John surely disagrees. Either we unite or die. Dare to defy Brother Tom. After Brother Tom knows this, when John works as a cleaner, Brother Tom lets Baldy Ray catch John again. John is thrown in front of Brother Tom. Then, team of two gays is also captured, they rush to beg for mercy, say they do not dare to defy Brother Tom anymore in the future, begging for mercy surely does not work, Brother Tom's people directly cut their crotches open, and let John go over and sanction them, John is righteous, surely would not go, dares to disobey order, Brother Tom is angry, and tells two gays, how about you two do it, you do it well, I will let you go, I'll do it, I'll do my best, just like that, Brother Tom's people rip John's crotch open, Four strong men hold John down, John's ass is lost. John wants to commit suicide, but gets injected with anesthesia by guards. At this moment, John's mother comes to visit him with lawyer. His mother says there is a chance to overturn the case. She also lets John must hold on. No matter what kind of humiliation happens to him, John hears there is hope to get out of prison. Spirit of fighting is ignited in his mind right away. No matter how hard this prisoner gets beaten, he does not fight back because he wants to get out of prison. After being beaten by a group of people, in a flash, he eats in the dinning hall. His head gets hammered by the boss. In a flash, again, he eats in the dinning hall, no matter how hard he gets beaten. John just continuously eats. At this moment, Cannibal Richard sits by John, passes him a leaf. John is smart, directly wraps rice with it and eats. But Richard says, it is a medicine that can cure your ass. Instantly, John feels awkward, rushes to put the leaf down. Richard asks John, did you learn martial arts before? You got beaten so miserably by them. But at crucial moment, you can always avoid your vitals. This reminds John, right, why am I so wimpy? I was a national team athlete in Taekwondo, have been degenerate for years. It is time for body to wake up. So, 
John starts training crazily in the prison, starts with splits first. However, Brother Tom's side decides to hit him until he becomes disabled. When working in a factory, John realizes he is ambushed. He rushes to hide, wraps the iron needle he already made with paper. In this case, a dart is made, then uses rubber band from underwear, namely elastic band, to directly make a slingshot in one second. John pulls the leather band, aims, shoots. A gangster falls to the ground on the spot, finds Baldy Ray number one, directly shoots the forehead, finds Baldy Ray number two, directly shoots the chest. When John breaks out to the outside, he encounters Brother Tom blocking him. Brother Tom carries a big plier. John starts charging. Brother Tom is about to swing the big plier, but cannot see anything. It is too dark in the middle. When John comes out, his leather band has been fully pulled, also has made a critical hit. Brother Tom's shoulder is hurt. He also drops his plier. John rushes over and finishes him with one kick. He wins this round. At this moment, guards come. Find out John finally wins. The boss is knocked out. His people are all panic. Is cleaner so powerful? At this moment, lawyer comes to visit him. Tells John a bad news. That his mother passed away. John's mental world directly collapses. Will I spend the rest of my life in prison? This time, due to John's fight, he is locked in a small dark room for 100 days. John decides to break prison. To clean his name, he starts training. First starts with five sense organs. Close eyes. Gradually, he can hear sound of spider crawling nearby. In the dark space, he can lock on target's position and action. With faint light, current John has been really strong. 100 days passed. John gets out of the small dark room. On the playground, he meets Brother Tom in a narrow path. This time, Brother Tom makes his mind. He wants to redeem himself. This time, he wants to kill John. This is an assassination. All of a sudden, few baldy rays strangle guards' necks. See guards are under control. Guards from upstairs rush to launch tear gas. Instantly, playground is full of smoke. Brother Tom takes out Butcher's knife and walks toward John. John's ears already caught his action. Right at the last body position, John turns around. Turns out his hand is holding a weapon too, with lighting speed. A knife cuts to Brother Tom's face. Brother Tom falls to the ground on the spot. At this moment, guards break away from Baldy Rays, come to catch John, and let him throw the knife away. They do not expect that John does something unexpected. He stabs himself hard in his stomach, then falls down. In this case, they rush to call ambulance. John and Brother Tom are both pulled into the car. Does John really want to kill himself? No. He learned this trick from Cannibal Richard. Do not touch arteries and organs. Do not poke too deeply. Turns out it did not hit vitals. John opens eyes. Looks around. Immediately rolls over and knocks a guard out by kicking. Another one. John pounds his chest. Breaks the outer shell of needle tube with his head. Immediately. One hand holds the needle tube. And puts it to the neck of guard. Asks him for key to the handcuff. Guard takes out the key. When he is about to give it to John. All of a sudden. Driver makes a turn. Car starts shaking. Guard shoots John. But his arm gets kicked by John. Bullet directly hits driver's thigh. Driver turns steering will do to pain. Car directly takes off. And starts rolling on the road. Even in that case. John. Depends on his keen vision and hearing. Still grabs key of handcuff in the air. Car stops. Only John stumbles out. He starts running crazily in the countryside. Runs from night to day. Steals villagers clothes. Even a bunch of cows come to chase him. John finds a black couple who comes here to travel. Helps them fix their car. Finally. Escapes back to the city. John wants to find the person who framed him. He starts brainstorm. How on earth was I framed? Turns out one year ago. John was a jobless young man. But in real life game player unknowns battlegrounds. He was the captain of the resurgence battle team. This man was truly awesome. In the national game. He led the whole team and swept through thousands of troops. At the championship game. Again. John himself. Accomplished 36 kills. When all his teammates were dead came back from behind against the odds, won the championship. In the game, John became a godlike existence. One day, when he played games in the internet cafe, cell phone in the seat by him always ringed. There was no one in the seat. John picked up the phone, turned out it was a girl, said she forgot to take the phone, wanted John to bring it to her home, and 300,000 KRW would be awarded. John did not want to go at all, but once he went through his wallet, he could not even afford internet and meal. So John decided to make this money. And went to the assigned address. Shockingly. The door was unlocked. John entered. And found something attractive. 
The girl was taking shower in the bathroom. John asked her for money. The girl let John go upstairs to drop the phone. Money was on the bed. John put the phone there, took the money, when he was about to leave. He did not forget to remind the girl, be safe and lock the door. The second day, John was sleeping at home. A bunch of cops broke into, and said that John raped and killed a teenage girl. John was directly taken to police station. In the courtroom, fingerprints, hair, few drops of sperm found from death scene, were all John's. The deceased was raped twice, stabbed 31 times. It was truly creepy. John's past was also uncovered. He was once a Taekwondo national team player, got fired because of alleged violence. This case shocked the whole country. Everyone thought the crime was committed by John. John was sentenced to life imprisonment. He was sent to felony prison in South Korea. So, there is the story happened in the beginning. John finds lawyer. Lawyer gives the necklace left by his mother to him. At this moment, sirens are blaring outside the window. Lawyer already called cops. John breaks window and runs to internet cafe. Teammate Harry Face arranges to meet John. No one expects that Harry Face is not a foot picker. Conversely, it is a pretty girl. She has been using voice changer in the game. Harry Face calls other four teammates. They decide to exonerate Captain John of all charges. Harry Face finds bad guy's address. They investigate deeply how to sneak into a building with 5A Level security. Two teammates disguise as maintenance workers and enter the building to help Harry Face hack into building system. Harry Face controls the surveillance. John finds a white suitcase. Shockingly, there is a body inside. At this moment, Buck Passing Team arrives. John hides and sees them set up the scene. These people put the body in the glass case, put scapegoat's picture, leave scapegoat's fingerprints. At this moment, the boss hiding somewhere sees John in the monitor. Turns out lawyer is the one who is in charge of the Buck Passing Team in secret. John's wrong imprisonment was also designed by him. Lawyer decides to free brother Tom from prison to kill John. John accidentally gets caught. He is beaten violently. Thanks to Harry Face for making a false police report. John is saved. Two people drive car and run away. Find relic of John's mother. Has a tracker on it. Stands the pain. John throws it. Necklace was given to John by lawyer. Accordingly, lawyer becomes the one who would be suspected. Teammate makes a drone. Sends it to law firm to track and investigate. They find a building. Also find there is a big database. Lawyer is like God. He can control everyone in the city. With data. Even honking at him when driving. He would write down the license plate number, so he can revenge. After John is aware of everything, he and his teammates start fighting back crazily. They destroy the scene set up by the buck passing team, blow up their cars, mess up at the junkyard. John finds Lawyer and beats him violently in Lawyer's secret chamber. In the database, John sees the video showing the process of being falsely accused. Also sees that his mother was killed by Lawyer. John wants to copy all the data of crimes but lawyer tells John that all his teammates are captured by the prison boss. Do not surrender. They will all be killed. Copying data needs at least 80 minutes. Evidence or teammates. John still decides to save teammates. Brother Tom shoots his teammates. Few shots all miss. At a critical moment, John arrives timely. He cuts off the power. The room is in total dark with his keen sense of hearing and vision. John spills rice that has knocked the license. In less than three minutes, he knocks out all the opponents. John saves his teammates and rushes to retreat. Brother Tom leads his people to chase crazily. At the same time, lawyer frames John's team for a murder case and lets TV station report everything. Lawyer is very excited. He thinks he is destined to win, but John races all the way to the entrance of the TV station. He gets out of the car alone to turn himself in. At this moment, TV station starts reporting. Played images prove the truth of event. Lawyer is exposed. Turns out that John's USB flash disk has functioned to do wireless transmission. It has not been pulled out. Harry Face successfully copies data. Hacks into the system of TV station. Plays footage. Successfully uncovers everything. Lawyer is sentenced to prison. In prison. Brother Tom starts taking care of lawyer. Makes team of two gays. Greet lawyer's ass. Every day. On the other side. John is acquitted of all charges. Accompanied by his teammates. He starts his new life. The end. This film is called, Fabricated City. Today's questions. Do you have teammates that are as powerful as John? Or you get tricked by your teammates all the time? Have powerful teammates. Please type 111. Get tricked all the time. Please type 222. This film is fantastic. I highly recommend watching the original version. Remember to thumb up for K.
Also remember to follow and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.